Malaysia is reimposing a full lockdown on Kuala Lumpur and five states to curb a third wave of COVID-19. The two-week lockdown begins on Wednesday. Interstate travel will also be banned nationwide. Let's stay at home. Prime Minister Mohidin Yassin says that at the current rate of infection, daily cases could rise to around 5,000 in months. Now, he warns that the healthcare system is at breaking point. Several major hospitals are already nearing maximum capacity. The situation today is indeed very alarming. Our healthcare system is under tremendous pressure now than at any other time since the start of the pandemic. And I've said before, unprecedented situations call for unprecedented measures. Melissa Go joins us live now from Kuala Lumpur. Mel, tell us more about these new restrictions and how people are responding. Well, Malaysians in general, they saw this coming because daily new cases are record breaking. And on top of that, the public health care system is already at breaking point. If nothing's being done, it will collapse. And Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin made the decision based on the advice of health authorities. He said almost all the beds in intensive care units are full and more than 1,400 frontliners have been infected. Now, the third wave of the pandemic unleashed, especially after the Sabah state election in September last year has triggered massive spike in community spread. Now, 70% of new cases are locals, unlike before, when most cases involved foreigners. So bringing back the MCO or movement control order that we saw back in March last year is inevitable now in order to flatten the curve and break the chain because daily new cases have been averaging over 2,000 um, the past weeks. Uh, now, beginning Wednesday midnight, all interstate travel will be banned in this country. This is to protect the green zone and to curb the spread. The capital Kuala Lumpur, where I am, and the neighbouring state in Selangor and the northern state of Penang and the southern states of Johor and Malacca and so on will come under partial lockdown. Schools will be closed, but if the students are sitting for major exams, they can attend school subject to the SOPs. Now, restaurants and cafes, including hawker centres, they can open, but only for takeout, strictly no dine-in. Now, to stop people from mingling, uh, only two are allowed to leave their homes for groceries and so on, two per car rule is now back on on Wednesday. Now, those caught flouting the rules can be fined on the spot. Now, all social gatherings, seminars, um, mass prayers, religious gatherings are banned as well starting Wednesday. Now, for exercising, you can jog in pair, subject to a two-meter apart, but you can cycle, only do it alone. Now, under MCO, uh, Malaysians are encouraged to work from home unless you are involved in the essential services. It's a lot to take in, but for Malaysians, they are prepared in general. Now, as far as whether this will continue, uh, the Prime Minister said that, you know, they will assess the situation and the risk assessment in a fortnight. Mel, Malaysia has bought another 12.2 million doses of Pfizer's vaccine. Is the country ready for a rollout soon? Well, the Malaysian government is expecting the first batch of 1 million doses from uh, Pfizer-BioNTech to arrive in Malaysia in February. Now, they're hoping to roll out vaccination end of the month. Uh, of course, uh, they intend to vaccinate up to 80% of the population. So far, they have only secured half enough for half of the 32 million population uh, from uh, COVAX, as well as from Pfizer, as well as AstraZeneca. They are also in talks with uh, suppliers and manufacturers from China and Russia um, to in, step up uh, a stockpile as well and so on. But it um, boils down to implementation. The Science and Technology and Innovation Minister, Khairi Jamaluddin, said there will be a dry run, a rehearsal to ensure its smooth implementation. And the Health Director General has also said that, you know, to achieve 60 percent or 70 percent uh, at least uh, vaccination in order to achieve some form of her, her uh, immunity. But having vaccinated doesn't mean that it's a passport for you to travel anywhere because to act to in order to ascertain the efficacy of the vaccine, it will be another four or six months before you can uh, make a decision whether this vaccine works or not. But right now, in order to stage a strong economic recovery, vaccination is key, the rollout, as well as political stability. Okay, many thanks for that. Melissa Goh, speaking to us from Kuala Lumpur.